In fact, the number of companies we have queuing up to take and pay these teacher interns is bigger than the number of interns we can provide. We want them to be literate of being able to read the room. I'm going to tell you a story about science, technology, policy. There's a concern around the world about how is it that we help young people develop in ways. The first is the technology, the second is the technology, the third is the technology. First, let me say I'm very proud of what we have accomplished for the very reason that we were able to build a school on our campus in Soweto. Now why I'm very proud of that, to convince management of the university to invest money into building a school, and they agree to it, I think is a major accomplishment in itself. But what I would like to talk about is a curriculum innovation in relation to the school. The establishment of the school had many, many spin-offs, uh, research-wise tremendous spin-offs. But what I think is really, really innovative that we've been doing in the school <coughs> is real integration of theory and practice. We offer a four-year bachelor's degree for elementary school education that we refer to as foundation phase school education in South Africa. And the organizing principle of that program is child study, a focus on really understanding how young children learn and develop. So the way that we have organized the curriculum is in the first year of uh, the coursework, the focus is on the kindergarten the garden child. We refer to that uh, stage of schooling as grade R. And the first year students observe very regularly in the grade R class. And they observe in a very structured way because the observation tasks that they get are directly linked to the coursework curriculum. <coughs> now the same group of students, when they move in their second year, move with the children to grade two. So they observe the same group of children, again integrated tasks with the coursework in grade two. And they move with the same group of children then in, into the next grade. So when the students get into their fourth year, they've actually observed in a very structured way, linked to the theory, those children over a period of four years. In addition, each student is uh, assigned a child that he or she must do an in-depth study of over four years. Now we have found that our students are really becoming, as far as it is possible in a four-year degree, experts on child development. And I don't think we would have been able to achieve this in any other way. The feedback that we receive from the students are tremendously posi uh, positive. They would indicate that, as one student put it, the textbook becomes alive in the school. We really see what we are being taught. Also, which is very interesting, they start challenging what they are being taught. In other words, what they would say, but you said, or the theory says, the following, but this is what we have observed in the classroom, so what's going on here? And that in itself leads to very, very rich discussions. So, if I look back at my own career as a dean, I would say one of the most difficult things that I've do, done in my life is to venture on establishing the school because, because it had many, many, many painful moments, I can assure you. And I actually thought, Somewhere in the universe, I'm being taught what to be patient and to persevere. Maybe those are the life lessons that I had to, to learn. But the value that this school is adding on so many different levels, first, as I say, to the students' learning, the wonderful research that we are doing, but also, particularly, to Soweto, which is a very poor area, township, those of you who know of Soweto, and for the children there. 
I shared yesterday with somebody, for me, but what is really painful often, when it's time that uh, enrollment should happen for the school, for children in the school, and only children in the Soweto area are allowed in the school, that the parents sleep in the streets to ensure that they're there first to enroll their children in this school that really also adds significant value in uh, Soweto as a township. <laughs>